and now we're almost up to this plant. So now we've got some yellow ochre mixed with that reddish color. Letting the brush just dance again. This plant is in front of the tree. And then we're gonna take some of that brown and red and black, throw in some shadows, same kind of little brush motions. Don't get too um, picky with where you put your shadows. They become readable once you throw them on there, as long as you got some in there. And you can always add more highlights later if you don't like where you put them. Okay, that plant's good. And then we've got like a dark rock over here. So I'm gonna mix my white with this black mixture and some blue. I'm just gonna kind of paint in that light blue color for that rock. Now I'm going to some orange with some cadmium yellow, not cadmium yellow, yellow ochre and some white. And now we'll use our yellow. And then we've got some yellow, just dabbing that thick paint on here. Okay, now let's take some red. I'm gonna mix it in a little bit with that darker color, just to start. And we've got a nice layer of this beautiful red foliage here. Just letting the brush do its thing. Leaving some spots in between. Now I'm gonna take my black, mix with my red. I'm gonna throw in some shadows here. Now these shadows are more like puffy, horizontal, slightly diagonal shadows. And we are going to add some more highlights to these later too. But for now we're going to start with the shadows. more of that base red. Still using my small round tipped brush. And next I'm gonna throw in some grasses. So for the grasses, we're just gonna drag the brush up, get that brush nice and wet, and just like drag it up into the existing stuff there. And you got some grass. Then we're gonna use some green mixed with black and red. And give us a nice brown. And just put that at the bottom of your grasses. Can always do like a few more little brushes there. Okay, throw in some more red. Got more of this red plant over here and in front. Of the grass. Take more black with our red. Make another
Cut a few more grasses up here. Just like a little bit right here. And a nice line right here. Just throwing this right over the wet paint. Another one right here. If you want to use a liner brush, you can. That would give you an even uh, more defined and detailed look for these grasses. A liner brush is really thin. Got some more of our brown. Kind of seeping through at the bottom here. We've got like, I don't know if it's leaves or like if this is mulch, but there's some type of little texture on the ground and that carries into our little path here. So I'm just letting the brush do some more dancing and just dabbing wherever those little marks are. Some of them are pretty light. These little marks are getting smaller closer together as we move farther away. Got a few more green plants up here. Very lightly dragging my brush to make some more of these grasses. They've got that dark green base. Really nice, vibrant orange plants right down here. So I'm just really thickly applying this orange so that it doesn't blend with the color behind it. it just goes right on top. are little orange flowers and they're more concentrated at the tops and then they're less 
concentrated at the base. So separate your little flowers, put your dots farther apart at the base of where these flowers go. got a little bit of green in there too. So I'm just going to take some of my yellow ochre with my green and there's still a little orange on my brush. Just kind of throw a couple little spots here. Okay. A couple more shadows just to separate those. Orange petals a little more. All right, now we're going to go back with our red on this side and we're going to add some orange and some white. Throw that nice highlight on the tops of the flowers. Very lightly putting the brush onto the canvas. little dots. Alrighty, so that's looking all right. Now we got this half. Now we can work on this other half. So we need some more orange mixed with our yellow ochre. And we've got a plant right back here. Secondary color on there, bit of a highlight. Just yellow mixed with red and white, and then it got a little muddy with some of my other colors there. We're gonna go with some brown. Got some dark shadow right here. We've got that red right here. And then we've got a nice yellow flower right here. My yellow got a little muddy with my green, but that's okay. Very lightly dabbing the brush onto the canvas. So I get these little dots where my yellow is. Throw a couple leaves in here under this 
yellow plant. I'll take some more blue here. Alright, now we're going to take some more of our red with some yellow. I'm going to throw more of that nice red color on here. Okay, now we got most of this side done. We're gonna do more shadows in our red. with some white and some yellow. Let's see if we can give ourselves a nice little highlight again. Just really thickly applying this paint, holding the brush kind of loose, loosely so that it just dabs on top of the existing paint. Just adding some pure red on top of the existing colors I had here just to add some more saturation to the foreground. Now we can work on our trees again. So these trees are mostly in silhouette. I'm going to go back over them again with a layer of black. Now we can add some leaves to our trees. So I'm mixing my yellow with my cadmium, my yellow with my yellow ochre. For some reason today I just want to keep calling that cadmium yellow, but it's yellow ochre. And 
there's a, there was already some color on my brush so I get this kind of like pukey <laughs> yellowy green color and I'm gonna use that to just add some leaves onto these tree branches here a little bit longer not quite circles but little long ovals and those are giving me the leaf shape Got some more sap green up here. These leaves. We're covering up most of the sky with these leaves. We can also mix with our yellow ochre, some red and some white, and that'll give us a little warmer autumn yellow for some of these leaves and these look similar to the leaves across the lake on those trees so that's good with our color scheme we've got similar things happening color just kind of transitions into your green and then I'm going to throw a little bit of color into this tree because I don't like it as a plain silhouette so I'm mixing my yellow ochre with my sky blue and I'm just kind of adding little highlights where I think we'd have a little bit of light better. Then I'm going to use more red for this one. Go back to my black so I can just blend that right up. Okay, that's good. And now this tree is mostly black. And then this tree's got some moss on it in the foreground, so I'm mixing some of the colors I already have on my palette. I'm just kind of adding some moss on this tree here, throwing little dabs on. Up here. 
And finally, we've got some leaves over here. They're pretty red. down here. It's nice, we got the whole range of autumn colors in here. Very warm. bit of a shadow there. We're gonna do a little bit of a shadow with these red leaves too. Just taking a little darker uh, red mixed with black and dabbing some shadows in under the leaves that we already put in. We'll do a bit of a highlight on these guys. Okay guys, this painting is complete. Thanks for sticking around with me. I hope you enjoyed creating this piece. Just a nice fun autumn landscape of a lake with our autumn foliage and plants. A little walking trail that takes you out to this nice peaceful lake. Uh, it was a happy one to paint. I really enjoy making landscapes, especially ones with lots of color like this. Lots of vibrant oranges and reds and other warm hues. So those are always a treat to paint. I hope you enjoyed painting this one if you did create this on your own. And if you have any comments or uh, concerns for me, then just leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. But I hope you had fun working on this piece and I appreciate your time. So thanks for joining me. Again, my name is Stoof. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to my painting channel so you don't miss any more painting lessons like this one. <laughs> and that's it. Have a great week and I will catch you next Thursday. Bye-bye.